This is too hard. I love you. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. I know. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've ever done. Oh, thank you for being here. I love you. You'll always be my baby. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sersha. I'm Paige's best friend from home. As a kid, you dream of your wedding and your best friend's wedding and how exciting it might be when they ask you to be a part of it. Well, in typical Paige fashion, mine came in the form of a text stating, not even asking, well, obviously you're my maid of honor. <laughs> And I couldn't think of a more Paige way for it to be done. Paige and I met in our small little town called Bayport on Long Island, and I instantly knew I wanted to be her best friend from the start. A fellow friend with a little bit of a strange name, I knew we did it all. I don't know if it was my constantly sunburnt skin, my transition lens glasses, or my occasional eye patch for my bad eye, but I like to think that Paige looked right back at me and said, I want to be that girl's friend. Luckily, the bride typically doesn't do a speech on her wedding day, so it's my word against hers anyway. <laughs> Always a sucker for the southern charmer. I knew Paige was in for it when she met Terry. <laughs> I unfortunately didn't have the pleasure of watching their love story unfold in person, but I could instantly tell from Paige's heart-shaped eyes over FaceTime that Terry was the real deal. Good afternoon and welcome on behalf of Paige and Terry and their families to this very special time where the two of them will be entering into a marital covenant relationship. Who gives this bride away? Her mother and father, Mike and Leslie. And give her away. You may be seated. Terry Page, let me say that uh, you are much loved. You're surrounded by family and friends. And uh, you, are, you are loved more than you can know. And the words that I, I say are not contradictory or inconsistent with, with the emphasis that is mine that we'll have this morning. Because even more than you are loved by family, you are loved by God. I'd like to keep the focus on God this morning. And uh, just four simple points this afternoon. Did I say this morning? Now I'm saying this afternoon. To wed means to join or to bind together. We use the word wedlock. This time is a festive and celebratory occasion, but whom is being celebrated? What's the reason? What is, what's the, the cause for the celebration? I submit to you this afternoon that this celebration is a celebration of God and His goodness. The scripture says that God gives us richly all things to enjoy. The Bible says that every good gift comes from God. Terry, Hasn't God given you a good gift? Look at her. Paige, hasn't God given? God chiseled out that face. Okay. And God molded this beautiful countenance. The, the, the beauty that we see here before us can only be connected to God who gives us good gifts. Now, Terry, will you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in the holy state of matrimony, to love her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, 
and, and remain faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I will. Now, Paige, will you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and remain faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I will. By the authority invested in me, by the great state of Florida, and by God, the ruler of all, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Terry and Paige Vance. your voice I think that every word you say to me is like poetry I just want you for my own it's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this I, I, I. what you wanna do now should we head back to my place I, I, I. when you give me that smile I think my heart's turning up the pace I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you you wanna do now was to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love. Fall in love, I go crazy 